All right, good morning, good morning, guys. Welcome to the 9.30 a.m. Body Sculpt. It's good to see you guys again. So we have two sets of dumbbells, if you have it, a heavier set or a light set. We've got a mini band. Jenna's already got her fancy feet. She's ready to go. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to get my music started for a little bit of a warm up. So remember, I'm going to always offer modification. So if there's something that's too hard, you guys know, take it to whichever level that you would like, okay? So you can change your levels based on how you're feeling today. Oh, we got Jane. Hello, Jane. Oh, look at Teresa. All my good people. All right, ladies. I'm so excited. Are you guys ready to sweat? Yes, I know I can't. Everyone's on mute. So it's like, woo. All right. We'll use our hand gestures to make our pumped up feelings. All right. So we're going to start on the mat to warm up today, guys. At any point, if it gets too loud, because I am Portuguese and I am loud, you'll let me know. You give a thumbs down. All right. We're going to stand on our mat like old school times. We're going to do a little step touch side to side to warm up. That's it. You can use those arms to pump. You can keep this low intensity by keeping your feet on the floor, or you can go into little hot pin taps. That's it. So you choose the intensity. That's it. And if you want to get more fancy, we can cross that leg behind. So we can go down, tap, down, tap. There you go. Nice and easy, slightly bent over. Good. Inhale, exhale. Make sure you're breathing here. Awesome job, guys. Let's pump it up for this Tuesday morning. Yes, keep going. Up, 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 up. Keep it here. Eight more. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. March on spot. Let's go. March it here. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do is if you have a chance, we're going to take two dumbbells. One on one side, one on the other. They're about two feet apart. Okay? We're going to stand. I'm going to stand to my right side. My left foot is closest to my dumbbell. Now watch here. Left leg goes up. Hop. Knee comes up. Switch. Knee. So it's going to go up, up. Hold. Up, up. Hold that knee up. Up, up. Hold that knee up. Yes. Woo. There we go. Nice and gentle on those knees. There you go. That's it. So we're getting the heart rate up by bringing that knee up a little higher. Yes. Woo. Here we go for eight. Seven. That's it. Six. Looking good. Five. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Let's go to the front of that mat. Step touch. Again, this time bending the knee a little bit more. Hunched over. That's it. Stick out your butt. Woo! Let's go into that hop. Hop, tap. There you go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. Woo! Warmed up so far? Yes. Okay. Inchworms, my favorite mobility warm up. Move those weights away from your mat. We're going to stand to the top of your mat here. Take a nice deep breath in, big reach over, exhale, fold your hips, bend your knees, touching the mat. Let's walk it out, one, two, three, hold the high plank, hold it there, engage your core. You can either hold this or bend into a little push up, lift your hips up, bend your knees, and slowly walk it back. Let's do it three more times, big inhale, reach, exhale, fold forward. Walk it out. Hold your plank. Mini push up or just hold the plank. Lift your hips, bend your knees. Let's go. Two more times. Big breath in, big reach. Exhale. Fold forward. Yes. Let's see. Into that plank, that little push up. Lift your hips. Up and two. Standing position. Last one. Nice deep breath in. Exhale. Fold forward. Walk it out. High plank. Little mini push up. Lift your hips. And all the way back up. Awesome job, guys. Before we get moving more in a squat position, interlace your fingers. 
Rock your legs from side to side. Start going into a nice deep squat. Can you see how deep you can get into that squat? Can you take your elbows, bring them to the inside of your knee, and can you sit your hips down? Now, if that's too hard, you can always just hold your bum up or bring it right down. That's it. And I like to waddle a little bit side to side. Use those elbows to push your knees open. Stretch that hip. Awesome job, guys. Take a second here, hold. Place your fingertips on the ground and see if you can lift your bum up into the air. Stretch your hamstrings. Awesome job. One more time. Let's drop the hips back down onto the floor. Elbows into the inside of your knees. Woo! Rock it side to side. Let's finish this last stretch. Fingers on the top, on the floor, I mean. And let's bring those bums up to the sky. Yes. Slowly roll your spine up. Oh, uh, yeah. Good job, guys. Great warm up. Yes. Okay. Two exercises, back to back, three rounds, okay? We're gonna get our heavy weights and get ready for our bent over row. Okay, as soon as we're done that bent over row, we're gonna stand up and we're gonna go into a squat and press. When you're pressing, the elbows are close in. So I'll show you a little bit closer here. Elbows come to your knees and then you're pressing up, okay? All right, so let's give that a shot. Let's get those heavy weights. All right, three sets, starting off, bent over row, our feet are hip distance apart. We're gonna unlock your knees, flex from the hip, nice flat back, you got it? Four, three, we're gonna start together, ready? And four, three, elbows in as you row, let's go. One, down, two, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Four, let's do 12 reps for five, and down, six, that's it. Seven, yes, eight, you got it, nine, ten, let's go last two here, Woo! last one, standing up, good, feet hip distance apart, bring those weights out in front, squatting down to your knees, and then popping up, yes, nice and slow and controlled, beautiful, so we're feeling that load on the way down, so slow, and then up, yes, Let's go for five, breathe out, six, breathe in, exhale, seven, exhale, and eight. Awesome job, guys, look at that, nine, yes, ten, let's finish the last two here. Big smiles, guys, pump it up, woo! All right, bring it in, bend it over, Round two, let's start together in four, three, two, one. We're gonna go up, down, up, down, three, that's it, four, good, five, squeeze those shoulder blades back, seven, yes, eight, hold it at the top, nine, flex, down, 10, last two, one more time, yes. Up we go, back into that squat and press. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go down first, and then up for one. Down, two, down. Big push through the hips now. Let's go for four, almost like you're throwing it up. Push up, five. Push up those weights, six. Yes, come on, woo! Seven, and eight. Let's do the last four here, nine. Great job, guys. Last two. Huh. One more time. Awesome job. Bring those weights down. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Awesome, sure. Perfect. Bending over now. Last set. Okay, so remember when we're bending over, make sure your shoulder blades don't go. So I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades back. Stick out your booty a little bit more. Yes, here we go. In, four, three, Two, last set of 12. Let's go. One, down, two, three, four. Elbows in, five, six. Squeeze it in nice and tight. Seven, eight. Bend over a little bit more. Nine, good. 10, last two, and one. Awesome job. One more set of those squat and press. 
Woo, you guys are doing awesome. Pop those weights up. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go down. Press up. Two. Press up. Three. Woo. Four. Up. Five. And up. Six. Up. When you're pressing, elbows are close in. And go up for nine. Ten. Yes. Two. Woo! All right, guys. Get a drink of water. You deserve it. Moving on to the next two. All right. So far, so good, everyone? Yes? Okay. I'm going to apologize in advance because this one usually sucks for some people, and it usually sucks for me, too. But that means we need to work on it, and it'll be fantastic. So we'll make it work. We're going to do our mountain climbers to push up. So remember, this is a little bit more higher intensity in the forms of cardiovascular and strength. So I want you to take your time. If you feel like you need to take a break at any point, please feel free to and modify. So this will be it. We're gonna get ourselves into a high plank position. So I'll demonstrate quick. Knee comes in. You can have the option of just going slowly, tucking one knee into your chest, or you can go into a full mountain climber where you're running. Then we're gonna stop. You can either drop your knees if you want, toes down, push-ups for 10, curl the toes under, and back again, okay? It's three sets, it's gonna feel like it's gonna take forever, but we're gonna do this together, okay? Because that's what we do. Yes, all right, here we go. Into that high plank. Ready? I'm gonna change the music to get a little bit more upbeat so you guys can feel the beat. Oh, this is like a hardcore song too, this is perfect. Right? Right, guys? Here we go. Let's get those hands into that high plank. Feet, nice and wide. We're gonna start together. A count of 15, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two. Keep yourself up or drop your knees into those push-ups. 10 push-ups for two, three, Four, look at you guys go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last push up. Hold that high plank. Here we go. Hop, hop, two, three. Shake those knees. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Four, you guys got this. Three. Two, hold the plank into a push-up or drop your knees into the push-up. 10 reps, let's go. Two, three, four, five. Awesome job, guys. Six, seven, eight. We have two more and we have one more set to go. High plank. Yes, you guys are killing this. Hold the plank or go right into that mountain climber. Let's go, 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 push. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, four, three, come on, two, hold the plank, push up, the last ten, Woo! nine, yes, eight, seven, six, five, you guys are killing it, four, three, Two, and one, whoa, back into child pose, stretch it out, stretch it out. You guys are doing awesome, let's slowly get ourselves into a standing position, very slow. Perfect, we're gonna go into the middle of our mat, bending the knees, a little agility here, we go one, tap the mat, to the back, side to side to the mat, side to side to the mat, quick feet, a little squat here, there we go. Feet, 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 go. Feet, 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 move. There you go. Just a little cardio here before we go into our next weight. Let's move, let's move. Woo! Yes, you guys are killing it. Let's go for four, three, two, and last one. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, you guys are awesome. Grab a drink of water. Smile. You guys did awesome. 
All right, we're gonna go into two different exercises. If you have a mini band, let's grab a mini band. So we have two types of mini bands out there. Some of you might have the more stretchy elastic one. Some people have the thicker fibrous one. It doesn't matter. With the pants that I'm wearing, I'm gonna be wearing this one. It's the same, it's just a little bit more fibrous. We're gonna place it above our knee. There we go. Taking that mini band just above the knee. Okay, so we're gonna start by kind of what we just did cardiovascular wise. I'm gonna push this back for one sec so you guys can see me. Okay, so a little bit of a side step here. We're gonna start at one end of our mat. We wanna make sure that our feet are hip distance apart. Just a little bit wider, I'd say, than hip distance. And we're gonna sidewalk back and forth. Now, when you sidewalk, you need to still keep your feet nice and wide. If you start bringing your feet in too close, the tension on the band goes, okay? So here we go. Squat down slightly, stick out your bum, and we're gonna walk, walk, hold tension on that band from one side to the next. There's no time here for this. I just want you to feel those glute knees on the sides of your hips and the sides of your bum start to fire. Good, keep going. Remember, it's that sticking out kind of booty. Push, push, out, out. That's it, so there's lots of tension on that band. Yes, looking good. Let's go for four. Good. Three. That's it. Last two. Good, one more time. Awesome job. All right, guys, so we're gonna do something different. We did this in the hit class the other day. Keeping the band on, you're gonna squat into the squat position here. We're gonna do a modified burpee. So it's not a full burpee. So what we're gonna do here is hands come down onto the mat. You're gonna hop your legs out into a plank, hop your legs back in and then rock into a deep squat. Yes. And then hands down, out, in, rock into the deep squat. As a whole time, I'm engaging my side glutes here. Down. Hop into the high plank, back into that squat. Ready? Four, three, two, here we go. We're gonna go down, hop into the high plank, come back, hold that deep squat. Let me see. Yes, yes, that's it. Good job, guys. Good job, Jane, I see that. Yes, Angela, you're doing awesome. Robin, Teresa, killing it, Jen too, yes. Good, down again, let's do three more. Good, last two. Good, one more time. Out, in, and up. Awesome job, we're gonna do that all again. Yes, ladies, all the way to the end of the mat. There we go. All right, so let's try this again. Sidewalks for five, back into those modified burpee squats, okay? In, four, Three, two, walk, walk. That's it. All the way to one end, and then all the way to the other. All the way to one end, sticking out that bum. Let me see. Booty out. Push, push, push. Yes, that's it, that's it. You want those glute knees to be what's pushing out towards you. Last two. Good. Let's finish this last one here. Awesome job, guys. Okay. Bring your legs close together. If they're feeling like a burn, just kind of bring your feet close together for a sec. Catch your breath. Then feet goes wide. Ready? Into that squat position. Get ready. Three, two, hands down. Hop out. Hop in. High squat. That's it, or low squat, I should say. Hop out. Yes. Let me see. Good. Hands come up. Yes. There you go. There you go. I know sometimes the band moves around. It's not the funnest, right? Keep going though. You guys work against it. Come on, last two. Come on. Yes. One more time. Yes. Squat high. Awesome job, guys. All right, take a little break. That was only round two. We need to do one more set, okay? Catch your breath. I gotta put my hair in the ponytail now. It's sweaty, sweaty. 
All right, into the corner. One side of your mat. Let's kill this last bit, okay? I know the energy might be going, Ugh. let's crank it up. Let's finish this last one hard, and then let's crank it up. Ready? In four, three, two, side walk, push. Two, three, and four. Again, for four, three, two, and one. Back again for four, three, two, and one, and four, three. One more set there and back, okay? Here we go. And four, three, two, and last one, four, three, two. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. One more, I promise. Five reps. And the worst for counting. Count for yourself in case I like to give you like 12 reps because that does happen. All right, here we go. Squat it out. Hands ready. Down onto the floor. Hop out. Hop in. Squat. And again, hop out, hop in. Number two, hop out, hop in. Three, hop out, hop in. Four, beautiful. Hop out, hop in for five. Awesome job, guys, awesome job. Take that minivan whoop, and let it go. Say goodbye, minivan. Woo, all right, grab a drink of water. And we're gonna go into two lighter uh, weights, so two lighter weights if you have five. Great. If you have three, those are also good. If you have eight, try your best. So two exercises we're gonna do here. I like to have a light set of dumbbells. So two light, light weights. So I'm gonna use my threes. And then I'm gonna have one, one heavy dumbbell. So this is gonna be the routine. Lighter weight, bent over, rear fly, squeezing the shoulder blades. Now guys, Bend the knees, stick the bum out. So you get that nice flat back. So if I were to have a hockey stick, my head and my sacrum should align. So there's none of this going on. Stick it out, palms facing down, squeeze the shoulder blades back. So let's go ahead once you're ready. Nice long arms, long arms. Yes. So we got this position. Thinking about that space between your shoulder blades should be coming together. So we should get that squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax. Good, let's go for four. There you go. A little bit more bend over, Teresa. Three, yeah, you got it. Two, last one. Perfect, throw those weights down. Heavy dumbbell, one heavy dumbbell in hand. Sumo squat. The weight is just being held by my fingers. Sink down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, good. The chest is always nice and tall. My favorite analogy is for those who know you, me, do you know how much I love coffee? I don't want to waste that coffee. I'm putting that sucker on my head and I got to make sure I don't fall forward, okay? Because I love to keep every drop of my coffee. So let's go down, up, down, press. Squeeze that tush as you come up. Let's go for five, up, four, yes. Three, two, of course the last one, hold it halfway and just do a fancy little pulse here. There we go, for five, four, three, two. Oh yeah, all right guys, back again, rear fly, lightweight. You guys are doing awesome. Bend over, once you're ready, three, two, here we go, let's go for 12 reps. Two, three, engaging your core, four, Go for five, six, seven, yep, looking good. Eight, there we go. Nine, 10, last two, two, and one. Awesome job, guys, drop it down. Let's go into that plie slot. Heavy dumbbell in place. There we go. All right, so nice wide stance. So remember, whatever position your foot is, your foot should be slowly point it outward, and your knee is gonna follow that. And slow and controlled in the way down and power in the way up. Like you're coming down into a zipper and then zipping it right up. Chest up, breathe in, good, breathe in. And remember, if this ever feels too light, you know you always have the option to just pick up more weights, right? Oh yeah, and then up. So you choose no weights, one weight, or two weights. Let's go for five. 
four, three, last two, on the last one, halfway hold and pulse, pulse, four, three, two, and all the way up, one more set guys, into that bent over fly, yes, ready, three, two, and one, let's go, up, down, two, that's it, three, four, go up for five, so it was 12 reps, six, seven, almost there, eight, make sure you're breathing, your core engaged, and 10, last two here, yes, this is the last set, drop it down into those plies, those sumo squats, one weight, two weights, or no weight, ready, chest up, three, two, one, let's go, down, and up, down, and up, yes, Woo! Bye, Jen. Let's go for up. Yes. Three. Two. Down and hold. Halfway hold. And pulse. Let's go for four. Three. Two. All the way up. Oh, yes. Okay, guys. Awesome job. Let's grab our mini band one more time. Take about a minute here for a second. We're going to head onto the floor. And turn down that music for a sec. Okay, so the last 15 minutes here, we're gonna do a little bit more floor work. See if I can bring down this music. He doesn't wanna to listen to me today. All right, give me one sec as I change the music. Okay, so mini band. I like using the more elastic mini band for this exercise. This is literally one of my favorite core exercises. This is a pedal pushing transverse abdominus, so lower ab type of a workout here. So this mini band is gonna be placed just right at the knuckles of your toes. You can choose at this point, ladies, if you wanna take off your shoes or not, okay? Because we're not gonna be doing any higher impacts at this moment. So if you wanna kick off your shoes, go for it. If you wanna keep them on, that's fine too. We're gonna to get into a lying position here. So slowly taking ourselves down onto the mat, nice and easy. There we go. Feet are gonna go to tabletop. So if you've ever taken any of the core fusion classes, you understand the tabletop position. Knees are directly over the pelvis. Feet are hip distance apart. So I have tension on the band. I'm gonna interlace my fingers, place them behind my head and get into a little crunch position. And I'm gonna inhale, kick one leg out. As I exhale, I'm engaging my abs to pull that leg in. So it's a breath in, breath out. Inhale, exhale. Every time I exhale, I'm really calling up on my abs to help support by pulling that leg in. I'm also being mindful that I'm not hyper extending my back. I have a little bit of a curve. My natural curve is in my lower back, but I'm trying not to flatten it and I'm trying not to let it change. Good, keep going here. Inhale, then exhale. Inhale, exhale. There's always a little pause and then pull and then pause. So if you want to feel that extension, you want to feel that core engage. Let's go slower, slower, slower. For four, three, two, and one. Drop those feet down onto the ground. The mini band is still on your feet. Hands go down to the side. Bring your heels closer to your bum. Prepare for bridge. Pressing into your heels, lift your pelvis. Keep most part of your rib cage down on the ground and then slowly come down. We're gonna lift up and down, that's it, up and down. Every time you come up, I want you to think about pressing your heels really hard into the mat, squeeze your bum and then release. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. That's it, harder you push into those heels, the more the glute will activate. Up and down, up and down, let's see. Up and down, lift the pelvis up and try not to roll onto your upper back. Keep most part of your rib cage down and just lift the pelvis. Four more times, let's go for four, down, three, down, two. On the last one, hold it up there, hold it up. From here, I want you to think about your right heel. So just put your mind into your right heel for a second. Press super hard into that right heel like you're trying to break through the ground. Can you feel that right glute fire? Thumbs up. Squeeze, 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 press, 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 nice and hard. Keep pressing into that right heel, now switch to the left. Try not to let your pelvis rock from side to side. 
Harder, harder, harder on your left. Keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. Yes, back to the right. Press really, 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 really hard into that right heel. Feel that right glute fire. Don't let it be lazy. Let's wake up that tush. And back into the other side, left side. Press really, 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 really hard. Hard, hard, hard. And then even your weight out on both sides. Slowly roll your spine back down. Awesome job. Back into that pedal push. We have that man still on. The band is still on. Interlace your fingers, place it behind your head. Into that crunch position, once you're ready, inhale and then switch. Keeping your feet nice and wide, engage that core, so breathe in. Exhale, lifting the shoulder blades just slightly off the mat. Make sure your head feels heavy in your hands so you're not letting your neck work here. That's it, let's go, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, call in those lower abs. Come on, squeeze, squeeze. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop those feet down. The bands are still on. Let's get back into that glute bridge. So remember, we did those weight shifts by pressing really hard into one heel and then the other. So every time you go up into that bridge, think about pushing both heels down super hard so we're gonna go press into those heels squeeze your bum feel your bum fire for those who've been in my class before back in the days you know that i always tell you this is the only class you're allowed to like touch your butt okay and notice if you feel it nice and hard and contracted and then slowly let it lower relax it and then squeeze nice and hard and then slowly come down squeeze press and then slowly come down Press really hard into your feet. Press really hard into your heels and see if you notice a difference. Good, let me see. Press hard into those heels and then slowly come down. Every time you go up, you're holding it for just a few seconds. So you feel that contraction. Don't just go up, down, up, down, because then the muscle doesn't have time to contract. Go up and hold it and then slowly come down. Exhale as you go up. Inhale, release as you come down. Exhale, breathe out as you come up. Inhale, slowly come down. Let's do four more. For four, and then slow on the way down. Three, you guys are doing excellent. And then down. Last two. Good. On the last one, up and hold. Now press really, really hard into that left heel. Nice and hard. Feel that left glute fire. Back to the right. Hard as you can. Press it so hard into the ground like you're feeling like you're gonna to try to break through that floor. Back to the left. Hard, 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 hard. Pressing into that left, left loop. And back to the right. Good activation here. Even out on both sides. Roll your spine down. One more set, guys. Interlace those fingers. Place them behind the head. This time, we're going to kick the legs out and do almost like a bicycle. So I do not like the idea of taking your elbow to your knee. I want you to instead thinking about opening up your arms and just guide your chest towards the knee. So your elbow is not twisting and turning. It's just your spine rotating from side to side as you bicycle kick with the mini band on. Yes. Can you guys feel that work a little harder? Oh, wait a second. You can't tell me. I'm just going to make you do it anyways. Here we go. <laughs> and rotate. Hey, rotate. And rotate. First five. And four. Last three. Two. And one, take a break. Awesome job, guys. Take off that mini band. I just see legs shooting up in the air, it's hilarious. Okay, take a moment to turn over, grab a drink of water. We're gonna go into a lying down position, so face down. And my music. Okay, so I'm gonna change my music up here so we have a little bit less boom, boom, boom. And we want a little bit more chilled out. Let's do this old school core fusion one I used to have. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Back extensions, guys. The back, I feel, especially the lower back is so much neglected, I feel. So we're going to get ourselves down into a lying position. And we're going to take the tops of your feet, place them onto the mat. So our toes are down. Good. Now, basic old school back extensions here for a second, and then we're going to modify it and make it spicy. So let's take our head looking down at the mat. You can either place your hands on the ground right in front of you, so your elbows are out to the side, the fingertips are on the mat, and you can use your lower back to lift with your hands supported, 
Or if you feel like your back is stronger, fingertips at the temples, lift, but always having your head looking down at the mat. Slowly come down. Every time you go up, you're exhaling. As you come down, you're inhaling. And then now you're gonna come back up. So whenever you're ready, just join in. So we're gonna keep the head always looking down at the mat. You have the option of placing your hands down on the ground, or you have the option of taking your fingertips to your temples as you come up. Let me see. Good. So the idea here is to see if you can get your lower back muscles or even the middle of your back to lift yourself off the ground. Just peeling just your chest over off the mat just a little bit. Every time you go up, a little pause. So remember that lift, hold, and then come down. Exhale, breathe out, breathe out. And then inhale as you lower. Exhale, breathe out, breathe out. Inhale as you lower. Let's do four more here. Exhale, always keeping the head looking right down to the ground so that our cervical spine is staying aligned. Beautiful, last two here. Two. Now the last one, you can come up and hold that extension. If your hands are on the ground, you're just gonna lift your feet off the floor for a second. If your fingertips are at temples, both legs are still lifted, and we're gonna butterfly our legs, or swim our legs, I should say. So little pedal, pedal, pedal with the legs, little flutter kick here for five, four, three, two, and then slowly come all the way down. Take a second here. If you really feel you need it, you can go and push yourself back into child's pose, and then reset back down onto the floor again. Okay, so this time, if your hands have to be on the ground, you're gonna bring your fingertips and your hands a little bit more farther in front. So my fingertips are just the top of my mat and my elbows are still down and you can do your extension this way. So this is just a little bit more work without lifting the hands, okay? And for those who have their hands to their temples, you're gonna take your fingertips, your pinky finger down onto the mat. Okay, so stretched out. Now you want to here for a second. So you can either have hands off the mat, like a Superman here, and then slowly come down. If you have your hands down on the mat, your elbow C on the floor, fingertips to the end, and you're gonna lift, okay? So let's give that a shot. Fingertips or hands at the top of the mat. We're gonna lift, hands up, peel the head off the ground and the shoulder blades and the chest, and then slowly come down. A little bit more intensity because we're making our lever longer by reaching the hands in front. Good. Remember, every time you come up, hold and then slowly come down. Good, let's go for five. These are intense, we're not doing a lot. Good, last four, beautiful. Really feel that back work. Three, lifting up and then slowly coming down. Last two, lifting up and then slowly coming back down. On the last one, can you hold it? Hold the extension, hold the arms and then pulse, pulse. Three, two, one, come all the way down and please put yourself into a child's pose here. Awesome job. Open up those knees. Perfect. You guys are doing an awesome job today. Take a second here. And then we're gonna take ourselves into a hands and knees position. Just a few little mobility stretches here. Let's start with our heels or our knees, our knees directly under the pelvis our wrist in line with our shoulder, and let's go into a few cat and cows. Let's arch the back, really separate those shoulder blades, pushing your hands into the floor, curl that chin into your chest, tucking the tailbone under, and then let's do the opposite. Let's drop the hips, stick your bum out, shoulder blades come back, I'm gonna lift all the way up, and then all the way back to the other side. So we're gonna go into that cat position, arching, arching, and then into the cow position, sticking the bum up, chest up to the sky, looking up to the sky. Good job, guys. One more time. Big arch, arch, arch in the upper back. And last cow position, dropping your hips, lifting all the way up. Let's bring our spine to neutral here, and let's go into a little barrel roll. So a barrel roll looks like this. You go into that little bit of a cat stretch, shift your weight to the left side, drop your hips, roll to the right. I always feel like it's like belly dancing on the ground here because we're moving that whole body. We're gonna drop and then lift, drop and lift. Let's do it one more time to the left side or whichever side you started with and then go to the opposite direction. Drop your hips, lift, pushing your hands into the mat, 
drop down, lift one more time, inhale, exhale, awesome job, still in this four point position, let's take our right hand all the way up to the sky, stretching out that chest, left hand is in contact with the ground, right hand curl all the way under, so underneath our midsection and we're going to drop the right shoulder onto the floor, hips are up to the sky, Awesome job, guys. And let's bring it right back to center. Let's do the opposite hand. Left arm is going to reach all the way up. As you exhale, let's go and reach that arm right underneath. Good job, guys. Hold it there for a few seconds. Perfect. Perfect. And let's bring ourselves back to center. Awesome job. Let's tuck our toes under. We're going to prepare ourselves for dog, uh, blah, 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 blah. You know what, which one this is. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Those are my technical terms. I do that a lot. Downward dog, <laughs> pushing the hips up. Good job, guys. Thank you. I hope you guys like my, my terms. Let's really stretch out those hamstrings, pushing your hips up to the sky. And then once you're ready, we're going to make ourselves into that high plank. Drop down into a little mini push-up. One little cobra here. And you guys did an awesome job today. Lifting up. Awesome job. Back in two. Child's pose. And you should be all so proud of yourself. You guys did such a good job today. Yay! Good work, everybody. Yeah.